Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6! This is how my afternoon is looking and uh, I'm not complaining. My boy has gotten so thick, so much fur, he needs to exercise, but I love it. <laughs> it's been a busy morning and I think this boy wants to go for W-A-L-K. I know, we'll go. Don't worry. <laughs> Caesar wants to open up his calendar. Caesar wants to open up his advent calendar. It's me, Caesar. <laughs> he thinks uh, someone else was whistling. Advent calendar time. Good boy. Sit. 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 Good boy. Okay, stay. Let's see, day six. Is it day five or day six today? Connor, is it day five or day six? Okay, I hear somebody. <laughs> oh, this is, these are so hard. There we go. That sound. Kiss. 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 I mean, I did just vacuum, but it's all good. Good afternoon and welcome to day seven of vlogmas which one right now tell me which one we're about to open up caesar's advent calendar here give me a puff <laughs> give me a puff pa. let's see pa. Yeah. he's like why is what's this, happening this one why can't pa. i just get it wait get it pa. he's afraid of the box <laughs> okay caesar where's number seven put a paw on number seven put a paw yeah, let him see if he can get it out. Try it. Go get, go get the tree. Go get the tree. Good boy. Whoa. Hey. Like that, yeah. Good boy. <laughs> We're about to do vlogmas. Oh, not vlogmas. What am I saying? We're about to do an advent calendar. Um, day, oh, let me find it. Um, what day is it? It's, you can't really see in the light. Where is the lights? Um, no, my eyes are so bad. Oh, here it is. I found it. Did you find it? You already found it? Yay! <laughs> angle that I'm giving it a go. It's my desk. A very small desk that shakes. I just wanted to come on here and <laughs> that's what YouTubers say, don't they? Or like people on Instagram. Like, I'm just here to talk. I'm just gonna come on here and talk about this new device I learned about. Um, you can get my code, my discount code if you um, the, the link swipe like swipe up with the link and um, have fun with it. You know that's what it sounds like. I am currently working, but also taking a little bit of a break to write down <laughs> the people who I need to give cards to for Christmas. That's something. That's my priorities right there. I have to organize myself. Tomorrow is um, my work holiday get together and giving giving and get togethering that's what I called it so I realized that I most likely won't see 
these folks until after the new year, like a week after the new year. Um, yeah, because I'm going away to Ireland on the 23rd and coming back a week after January 1st. So it will be a while. And I am someone who loves giving cards and giving people some type of gift in any way I can, even if I've just met them, just to show my appreciation and, and thankfulness and love. And it's just a nice gesture to do. So I got these cards a couple, I think last week or no, no, I got this two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. They're so cute. They are dash hound or dogs. For the most part, they look like they all look at like dash hounds that say Merry Christmas on it and Happy Holidays. There's three different designs here. So the first one I have is this one. Um, it's so cute. I love the design, the texture of it. It's by, it says Ling Design. I don't know if I make this close or not. Ling Design Christmas Dogs. Oh, it's by Alex Gunn. Have I heard of that name before? I'm not sure. It just says, wish you a very happy Christmas, which happy Christmas is uh, definitely not a, a thing that we say in North America. Uh, we usually say Merry Christmas, um, although it does say Merry Christmas at the front, but usually those in the UK or England in general, or maybe Europe in general, I don't know, they say happy Christmas. That's something that I've learned. Um, so I think it's interesting that they put that inside the card, not both sides, but it's cute. I don't know why I made that observation, but love this one. This is the second one. I love this color. First of all, red and green. I mean, can't get any more Christmas than that, but I absolutely love this color. It says Merry Christmas with another dash hound. Um, oh, there's a little bird in the corner right here. And inside, Oh, so the inside says the same thing, which I love. Makes the most sense why I switch it up, but I love that. They're so cute, and there's one more design. Then we have this one. It's, <laughs> it's adorable, actually. I didn't really get to see this one. There's three dogs on top of each other, or there's two. No, there's three on top of each other, on top of a Dalmatian one. Um... I love that. It's a cute, um, what color is this? Not neon, but aquamarine color. This used to be my favorite color because that was my grade 12, high, no, grade 8 dress when we had that school dance. Anyway, <laughs> I, I think these are so freaking cute. I'm a sucker for dog Christmas cards or holiday cards, especially if they're golden retriever because I, I have a golden retriever. I got a dash hound because or I got dash hounds, or these ones are not dash hounds actually, so it's just the one or the two cards. For the most part, they're like kind of dash hound oriented or based. My boyfriend's family have a dash hound or a mixed breed, and um, I've just been obsessed with dash hounds lately or in general for the past year or so, and I think they're the cutest dogs, and the cards, the animated versions of dash hounds are just so they're just so cute. Like, I just can't, I can't, I can't stop myself. But, anywho, these are the three cards. They're different designs. And what I'm doing right now, also, there's only tw uh, 12 cards. So, there's four of each, which I realize is not, it's not a lot. Not for the many people I have to give it to. So, um, definitely have to figure out and, and sort it out and organize who I'm giving that to because I have leftover cards. And so, and that's why I'm writing in here uh, the many people have to give them, whether it's personal, like people in my personal life, and work folks. So I definitely have more than 12 people. So I'm just going to go through that. And I'm definitely going to have to go to the dollar store later on after work today to pick up some last minute stuff for tomorrow's holiday event. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be a long day tomorrow, I think, because I'm going pretty early or just you know regular work hours because we're pretty flexible but I'm probably gonna come in at 9 30 or 10 latest and 
decorate the place. I'm offering to bring some decorations to decorate the place and bringing some gift wrapping stuff, maybe just one or two things. And then going to get some grocery items, food, snacks, beverages for everyone at the office because I am organizing it and uh, they asked me if I could and I said, sure, why not? <laughs> so anyhow, that is what I'm up to. Uh, I'm just taking a little, you know, five, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to just do that and then getting back right into work. I also have my candles lit, which I probably inserted right before this clip. Um, but yeah, I think this is a great check-in because I think a lot of my vlogs has just been starting at the evening time and I forget, which is okay because the work, that's how the work, you know, week is and I don't really go out anywhere. Um, sometimes I would go for dinner like once in a blue moon during the week time, but now that it's snowing, it is so heavily snowing. Well, right now it's kind of slowed down, but it's a lot of snow. So I don't want to get out of the house, but tonight I do have to just run to the store very quickly. But anyhow, I'm rattling on. I'm going to put back my Sheen Him, a very Sheen Him Christmas album on because it makes me happy. This one here. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. It is just coming all down, isn't it? It's also very windy, so it looks a bit more chaotic than maybe it really is. But regardless, we're gonna have a white Tuesday. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know. Y'all, I just spent 72, $72 at the dollar store. Yeah, I needed Christmas stuff for both my personal Christmas wrapping and then for the holiday event thing that we have for, for work tomorrow. And then some household basic items, so that's a lot. Quickly shut the video off because somebody was approaching and I don't know, I don't like vlogging and people seeing. I'm about to head home now. It's 6.32 and there's a lot to unpack here, but I'm glad I got my stuff done. <laughs> All right, I am about to make gingerbread cookies for tomorrow's holiday event at work and it is currently 10 26 p.m. I know it's kind of late but I feel like I can quickly do this fingers crossed I'm gonna like jinx everything but I'm gonna show y'all what I have for this recipe because it is a vegan recipe so I have from what I'm starting or uh, touching brown or ginger oh ground ginger I have ground nutmeg I do have star anise. I don't actually need this. I don't know why I took this out. This is for my mold line, so I'll put that aside. I have baking powder, which I also don't think I need. I just took anything out that I think I needed. <laughs> I got some brown sugar, which is not enough. I gotta have I gotta figure out if I have more in the house. I got um, cloves. I do have to make this ground, so I'm just gonna motor and pestle it or is that how you say motor and pestle? Yeah. I'm gonna crush it up. Then I have baking soda, then I have vegan margarine or butter. I think all margarine is vegan, I'm not sure, but it's lactose and gluten free, so nice. I'd love to see that. Then I have all purpose baking, um, all purpose flour. Typically I do have um, gluten free or, um, I think it's gluten free baking, no, all purpose flour or something like that. Don't know if I have enough, but I think that should be fine. And then that's pretty much it, the basis of it all, of it all. And for the icing, I think I need, let me see, I have my laptop right here. I do have powdered sugar. Um, I have vanilla extract and I, I have oat milk I can pretty much use for that. So I think it's pretty good. So let's get started. So I just double checked my pantry over here and I actually do have ground cloves. I'm so happy that I didn't have to waste the energy on crushing these babies over here so I'm glad I got that as well I don't know I'm just really happy now <laughs> uh, the recipe also calls for molasses actually and I do not have molasses so 
It says you can substitute that for either honey, which I have this organic honey over here, or dark corn syrup, but I don't have dark corn syrup. I have golden corn syrup, which I think should be fine. So I'm gonna honestly pick like any mini mini mo, it doesn't really matter, but I think most likely I'm gonna go for this one. Um, but yeah, hopefully it tastes just as fine. Also, look at these beautiful measuring cups that I've got from HomeSense, I believe. One of them is broken, which, uh, you know, I'm not really the happiest about, but I can make do with it and I can fix it, but I'm obsessed with these. I love the sound of them. I love the look of them. They just look really vintage and antique-ish. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> just wanted to show that off. I forgot to show the vlog this, but this is what I'm using to make my gingerbread cookies. I got this from HomeSense as well, and there's three versions of these. There's a small, medium, and large. I actually don't know. I think I'm going to make the small ones, just because it's easier for me right now, but I actually, as you can tell, I uh, haven't opened it yet, so I'm really excited to use them. Here are my gingerbread cookies, uncooked of course, and I'm having, a, I'm having a little bit of trouble because when it comes to the sheet, it's like, it's not fitting in my pan and so it's kind of crooked and then that causes my cookies to not be straight. So I'm having to move and like shift around and figure out how this is gonna work. But I have about 11, one is for my partner to try out because he wants to and he can be the taste tester, but I hope these turn out decent. Fingers crossed. <laughs>
was a great day. It was busy. I filmed some footage as much as I can of the of, um, work holiday event. Um, driving in the city is not my favorite and it's okay. I did it. <laughs> oh, hi Caesar. My dog came to greet me. Um, anyway, I'm, hel I'm glad I'm home. I came home at like 8. 8. No, 8.45. No, 9? I don't know. It's 9.38, so I came home maybe like 40, 50 minutes ago. And I'm so glad to be back home with my pup and my boyfriend.